Hum, power! Hum, power! Hum, high voltage, man! Yeah! Ah! So much power, man! Yeah! A moving house! A moving... Oh, this garage here is somewhere much bigger, man! Five times the size, so I can actually work with electric cars, electric motorcycles. I can have multiple projects going on here because I there's not enough room here so everything is all like it's small bench I can't do like a mechanical electrical like uh, do some metal work and BMS like it just doesn't go together right so here I've got some projects I'm gonna be showing so this is a super like I'll call mega taser right so this is just two tasers together it's pretty powerful ah! and here we've got 10 tasers together my power supply can't deliver enough enough current for this imagine when you put 10 together it's about 32 amps pretty intense so i got a nice lipo battery here yeah this provides enough power <laughs> so go here's uh, my 2000 watts led i want to hang this thing on my track somewhere <laughs> just for fun it's super illegal but my track is illegal already so kind of goes together right so this is the battery that i'm putting together it took me so much time to figure out some stuff here uh we've got a bathroom bms you see here i'm going to be doing a lot of work with bathroom now in 2018 uh, bathroom bms here we got the uh, bathroom software oh it's turned off and this is the charger for my track 2000 watts charger 2000 watts charger super small man look the size of this 2000 watts just here right and this is the battery and bms so let me just put the password here it's zero in case yeah so this is the battery software you probably saw this in different forums like a uh, DUI power wall um, yeah so same style right so this is the 40 BMS because this is the good one right so this is the premium one when you work with this when you go back to this you just come and eh? look fire everywhere you just go bang 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 yeah, I hate this thing it's just cheap and nasty it actually feels good when you go Bang! Smash them! Hmm, they rubbish, man! <laughs> so my metal work stuff, my ACDC welder, my argon gas, I got some metal cutter, aluminum cutter, uh, ferrous metal cutter, I got hydraulic pipe bender, actually, it's actually how it's called. I uh, got grinders, bench, more grinding stuff, drill press, this is a digital one from Bosch. Oh, I turned off. Sorry. <laughs> I'm already disconnecting the electrical here. But just so you have an idea, my trike. And then the batteries. Oh, most of these batteries are stuff that I saved from like work that I've done last year, uh, in the past two years. So these are all faulty cells killed by the BMS. So I removed them um, and there's not much point changing this because like putting new cells here because the internal resistance will be always different and it just doesn't work this way. So this is going to be going to a different project. So I'm saving all like many types of batches here. I'm going to make my power wall finally. I'm going to have some spend some time doing this. I got enough cells to do something, right? So this is a Segway battery. Um, yeah, I got a bit of everything of Ruzen to test. Uh, what else? You know, you got stuff all boxed up. I got some police <laughs> siren. Yeah, man, I can woo, 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 like a proper police. This is from the Brazilian police. I can't tell you how I got this. <laughs> I got some faulty motors. I got this is a washing machine motor. Uh, this is a big hub motor. This is a HUB motor. Uh, it's actually got some components uh, potted inside here. I'm gonna be I'll, so I'm gonna be making videos showing a lot of things that I never showed <laughs> finally uh, this is a radiator cooler uh, I want to overvolt this and see if it, it can you know like maybe mount it in the back of the bike and do some funny thing right uh, what else what else I got some fancy soldering iron I got a nice one that I'm gonna do a review here uh, super capacitors, uh, resistors, balancing board for super capacitors, which is kind of like a BMS. Um, yeah, some USB stuff, it's just for my own test. 
uh, oscilloscope. I want to show some how you can measure motors using oscilloscope. I got one oscilloscope here. This is an analog one from 1971. Uh, this is the function generator. It's actually generating signals. So what you see here is coming from this, and I actually shape this wave in th this the way I want using this, right? Hmm. So precision multimeter, six and a half digit. So this is very like like extremely like precision electronic stuff, fine electronics things. Uh, this is a uh, digital power supply, three channels. This is all very stable. It's for electronics as well. Rigo MSO mixed signal oscilloscope. Uh, it can measure digital stuff here, and there's some other connections here that you measure like uh, pulses and things. You can read. Um, oh, it's a bit hard to explain. You can do a lot more stuff. 16 channels here. You can kind of read some pulses and communication between machines. <laughs> right, so this is the, my old Agilent oscilloscope. And I got here a collection of connectors here. So you see this pretty much everything the Hobby King <coughs> sells on the website I've got here. Uh, I'm actually testing this, testing current, test how you solder these things. So there's a lot of, you know, like you need to know what are you working with? And sometimes we get some bikes and stuff, they come with different connectors. So it's good to have a variation of everything here. So yeah, I got a multimeter, fluke multimeter, another fluke multimeter. This is the 289. That's a pretty expensive one, top of the range. Uh, I got a lead acid battery from 1930s, made in England, man. Made in England. Ha! This is from the Industrial Revolution, man. It's still here, man, in my bench. Uh, yeah, all my tools making this video. Remember everything here, right? So I know how to put things together, right? Alrighty, cool. Time to pack everything and see you later, man. Ah! Mm -hmm. Oh!